Hey there, well today I'm gonna to be sharing with you a thrift haul that I just recently got. I went to a couple different thrift stores and I wanted to share with you just what I'm finding and then how I'm going to use them. So let's jump right in and get this unboxed. So, all right, we'll start here. I got some vintage linens and whenever I am at the thrift store, I'm always checking for the vintage linens because they just don't make them like this anymore. Uh, these are hand embroidered and they're just, like it's just so pretty, I love it. Uh, there isn't even any stains on this and this is just a tablecloth. And then the other sweet thing that I got here was something I have never found before, but it just reminds me of a sweater. It's like an old vintage sweater, and this has been embroidered too, but it's a table runner. And isn't that pretty? Look how pretty that is. It's embroidered, and it has this sweet little ruffle detail all around. And um, I just thought this would look so pretty, not only on a table, but on a chair or your furniture or whatever. It could also be worn as a shawl. I think it's so pretty. Uh, so I definitely had to pick that up. And this, uh, this is almost like a door knocker. It's cast iron and very heavy. And I just thought this was cool. This is like a reproduction. It's not an antique, but this is just super cool. So I had to get that. <laughs> this little bird. I am so drawn to anything <laughs> that's, you know, little cast iron. Look at this cute little bird. I mean, you don't even need to do anything to it. Just add it to your decor. I just think he's so cute. Perfect for spring. And then I got this. It's like a topiary. Uh, this is unusual. I've never seen one like this before. Um, and it just looks so real. And I knew that I could find a pot to fit this in and it would just look perfect. You know, actually I should go find one right now because I want to show you guys. So hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, I found this pot that I have and I'm going to stick this little, I know the name of what this is. I've, you know, you, you see these growing in Europe. Like my mother-in-law actually has some of these growing in her yard. Starts with an A, I'm forgetting the name of it. Maybe you know, comment if you know. But, oh, I think that's perfect. Oh, so cute. One thing that I am just so drawn to whenever I'm looking on Pinterest is pictures of gardens that have moss and old aged pots, clay pots and metal pots and just patina on stuff. Moss, I love moss. So anyways, this cute little topiary just caught my eye and I had to grab it. All right, let's keep moving on. Uh, so this cute little brass glass um, case, it's like a little jewelry box or you can put whatever you want in it. I got it for $3. I love brass. I love brass and anything that is antiques like this. And so I had to pick this up. I think this is just so sweet. And I have a couple other boxes like this, but they're bigger. I've never seen one in this size before and I just love the little ball shaped feet on it too. So I had to grab that. And then these baskets. These were a couple dollars each. They're different sizes, but I think these are always so pretty outside on your porch, on the wall of your house or inside, you know, even on a bike or something like that. They're just so cute. I love these kind of baskets. They're so fun to decorate with. And then this pretty little lavender sprig wreath is in a heart shape. And for just a couple dollars, I could not resist this. This is pretty anywhere. You can use this outside, inside, in the bathroom, in a bedroom, wherever. I just love it. It's so pretty, very spring. And these, I have been keeping my eye out for anything that is like Peter Cottontail and vintage because I have two grandsons and I want to fill um, some little baskets with that with stuff for them and um, gosh I have a hard time finding any Beatrix Potter stuff or anything that is Peter Rabbit although I did find these and they're paper plates but I don't have to use them as paper plates you know these can be used 
for a lot of different things just to stick into their basket or um, you know the other thing I was thinking is I could punch a hole in them and make a little banner and string with them but probably what I'll do is just put one in each of my grandson's baskets so I had to pick those up the other thing that I got was oh, some more linens here this is just a really pretty tablecloth and um, this you know can be used any time of the year you know it's got really pretty gold color to it with the brown embroidery but again it's just one of those things that you don't see done very often anymore you know hand embroidered and it's kind of a rectangle shape but it's so pretty look at that beautiful embroidery on there and this is a hundred percent linen I mean, it's just so pretty. So in the summertime, can you imagine a picnic with this? Anyways, on a picnic table or a bistro table, I thought this was so pretty and I wasn't gonna pass that up. So I got that. Another hand embroidered, um, gosh, now I'm forgetting what they call these. I know you guys, some of you know what these are called. <sighs> yeah, it's been a long day, can you tell? <laughs> I'm filming this at the end of the day. It's about six o'clock here. So anyways, um, but it's just sweet. It says a house is made of brick and stone, but a home is made of love alone. And it is hand embroidered and it's old and it's just cool. I like it. So I had to pick that up. And oh, these beautiful dishes, at least beautiful to me. I love them. So I have, and oh, <laughs> the, there are 10 of these. So I got 10 of these cups and they aren't marked. Um, so I'm not really sure what, you know, if they're, if they're branded or anything, however, they're pretty and I don't really care. So I got them. I got all of these for 650. So I got four bowls. Um, these are like very shallow soup bowls and then these cups and, uh, it does have a, a mark on the back, but it's so faded that you can't even read it, but they're so beautiful. If any of you have ever seen or know what this is, please comment below and let me know. I just think they are so beautiful. I had to get them. So I don't know if I'll, if I'll keep them or put them for sale in the market, but you know, I might, what I might do is just keep four cups to go with my bowls and then sell the other ones because somebody might just be missing these from their own collection. I found that to be true for so many things that I've sold. It will have, um, you know, I'll have one salt shaker from, you know, a pear or something like that, or the saucer to a teacup. And somebody will come along and say, oh, I have the cup or I have the saucer for that teacup and I have been looking for it. And so you just never know what you're gonna find in a vintage market or a thrift store. <laughs> so that's what I got there. And then one last thing here that I got is this sweet baby blanket. You know, again, it's one of those things that you just don't find anymore. Somebody made this, you know, look at that, made with love, it's so sweet. It's got all of these little bunny picture squares on it. It's still in really good condition. There's no rips on it. And then it has like these little doilies on it. So I just need to um, wash it and then I think I'll probably put it into um, the basket that I give my uh, grandson for Easter one of my grandsons probably the baby the one-year-old I'll put that in there and then you know put his other stuff on it so that's what I found and that's what I'm going to be doing with all of these things. So I'll give you one last look around at these items that I picked up and then I have a little project I'm gonna work on right after this. So stay tuned. The other day, my daughter told me that she had watched one of my videos with my grandson and he asked her why he couldn't see me. She said that he had wanted to see me in the video. The truth is I have a really hard time in front of the camera and I don't like to film myself. It's just like, you know, talking in front of a group of people or speaking in public. I know I'm not alone with this. There are many people who struggle with speaking in front of other people or in front of a crowd. For this video, I decided to just talk into the camera like I'm talking to my daughter on the phone because we do that a lot. We FaceTime every day. 
Since studying God's word and really learning how much he loves me and that my identity is found in him and has nothing to do with my past or who uh, I was or who I think I am or who others think I am, it's really changed my mindset about why I'm so afraid to say anything in front of people. Well, the truth is that if you are a believer, you know that God is good and the enemy is bad and the enemy tries to silence us. So I am just going to paint these random candlesticks that I have here with the white colors that I'm using in the house. And I painted some on the wall just to see what color I would like better. But I thought it would be kind of fun to paint these random items that I have here. I've got all these candlesticks and I thought I'm going to paint them and just see if you can tell the difference in the whites on something like this versus on the wall. So let's get started. I did like the color of this wood candlestick holder. However, there were copper paint spots on it, which I didn't love. And I wanted to have a set of three here, or at least these two to go together. So I wanted to paint them the same color. And this taller one, uh, somebody had painted a first coat on it and it just looked unfinished. So I wanted to fit them together. For these candlesticks, they look almost as if they're spindles or, you know, the legs to a table or a chair or something. I thought they were pretty cool. So I'm using the color Simply White by Benjamin Moore on these. When you know who you are and you know that God loves you, then you should not have any fear to speak in front of other people because it doesn't matter what they think. What matters is the message or the story that you have to tell. The word says that perfect love casts out fear and that the righteous are as bold as a lion. I may not always feel courageous or bold, but God says that I am, so I'm going to believe him. I want to encourage you to do the same. Be courageous and be bold and believe God. These other three candlestick holders, I am going to use the color Chantilly Lace. On this candlestick, I intentionally didn't push the paint into all the nooks and crannies because I want that detail to stick out. And the more that I put paint in there, then the more I would have to remove if I want to make those details stick out. So I tried not to push it into everything so that it has that naturally aged or distressed look. I gave all of these candlesticks two coats of paint. I used 100 grit sandpaper to lightly distress and age them. Because I used a latex paint, I did not apply a sealer.
Here's one more look at these candlesticks before. You probably can't see much difference between the whites. The set on the left is painted in simply white and then the set on the right is painted in Chantilly lace. The Simply White is definitely a warmer white and the Chantilly Lace has a cool undertone. This has helped me decide which colors to paint in my house. And I hope that I have inspired or encouraged you in some way in this video. Thank you so much for being here, for watching and commenting and God bless.